Clinton Kelly, author of, oh no she didn't, <laughs> and style expert Mary Alice Stevenson are here to talk about the best and the uh, not so much there on the red carpet. Both Hello, look great. Robert. Hello. I love that title. Oh, no, she, oh, no, she did. did. I know that. <laughs> Mary Alice, we did see some trends, didn't we? We sure did. There was a return to the 80s. I don't know if that's good or bad, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> there was Crystal Carrington a la Dynasty on the red carpet last night. Angelina Jolie being in her green Versace. Mm -hmm. She looked mm -hmm. amazing, She I thought. did look stunning, but look at the shoulders. Look big at the shoulder pads. Shoulders. Shoulder pads? Yeah. Yes, oh. big shoulders. You know, very clean, really classic. She's got Swarovski crystals all over that neckline. Minimal jewelry, modern looking, but, but a flashback, a yeah. little bit of a flashback. Flashback to the 80s, but also sort of to the 40s. It's very Emerald yeah. City, Wizard of Oz, right? She's like the <laughs> queen of Emerald City there. Yeah, I, mean, I thought she looked stunning. And what else did you see, Clint? Um, we saw also a lot of, uh, who's up next? I can't well, Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Oh, yeah. my God. She was like one of my top three favorites. Both Clinton and I loved yeah. Anne. She's oh, wearing Armani, this. Shoulder pad. Yes. Armani Privé, Roger Vivier bag. What we've seen is, 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 is this gorgeous flowing hair with these over-the-top gowns. Mm -hmm. And that kind of modernizes it, makes it look sexy, young, and fresh. Don't you think, Clinton? Absolutely. And it's completely backless, practically. So it dips all the way down to her tushy, which is really sexy. She looks super statuesque in it. Um, really sort of set herself up as a movie star, you know, a real star. And last night I talked to Rachel Zoe on the phone, her stylist, and Anne actually had two choices up to the last minute, one a little bit crazier and over the top, and she went with this old Hollywood meets new, and glamorous, it works for her. sexy, yeah. it works for And her. it really worked for her body. Absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes... That doesn't work so well for some people, yeah. yes. I mean, it, look, it's, it's tricky to dress for your body type, because um, yeah. sometimes things that are on the runway don't necessarily translate to there real women, and some stars have more curves than the average model. January Jones, for example. A beautiful woman. I mean, she is yeah. a stunning woman. And However, it's a beautiful dress. It's a beautiful Versace. dress. But look yeah. at the way the dress is almost fighting her natural curves. You almost don't know where to look. Her her chest looks sort of squished together. Um, and so that's an example, in my opinion, of someone who didn't really dress for their body Now, type. January saw this on the runways. It wasn't a yes. different color for spring, um, and she wanted this in red. It's also, to me, you don't match the lip color with the dress color. And, you know, when she's, you're so stunningly sexy like that, it's just a little bit too much and over the top. Yes. So she wasn't our favorite, as you can right. tell. So who did dress for their body type? Well, a woman who is curvy, uh, who did oh, it really well, yay. Sophia Vergara. Sophia Vergara. She's wearing Vera Wang. I I love how modern and sexy she looks. This dress fits her like a glove. We love the long flowy hair, the jewelry. It was, you know, absolutely flattering. stunning and flattering. Right. And she feels good and you can you can see it yeah, on her face. Sometimes women who are curvy can look too sexy if they show too much skin. Mm -hmm. So she's just showing enough skin up on top. So we get the decolletage, uh, showing how <laughs> narrow her waist is with that right. black belt and then the great curve on the hip. She looked amazing. And she was tweeting all night in her fittings about how she couldn't find a dress that fit her curves. So she did great with this Vera Wang. Oh, it's such a problem. Oh, you know, God. Not be so Sophia, can you imagine? So, <laughs> me. But the, the colors that we saw also, it was like kind of some pinkish colors and, and things Lots like that. Lots of pink. Lots yeah. of pink on the red carpet, a big trend. Blush, yeah. pink. We saw Natalie Portman. We saw Leah Michelle. Claire Danes. And Claire Danes. I, my personal favorite. We I love, love Claire, Danes. Claire Danes. I love this. That was my oh, favorite yes. dress. Love this dress. She looks so modern and elegant in Calvin Klein. This is a neon silk halter dress. She's wearing this gold 70s inspired cuff from Fred Layton. So classic, so elegant. And then Leah Michelle, she really, I mean, last year she got it wrong in that black Oscar de la Renta. Yeah, this year's spot on, This right? year's spot on. This is also Oscar de la Renta. This is how she should look. Young, mm -hmm. fresh, colorful, festive. We also saw a lot of emerald green. A lot of emerald green. We, yeah. saw, we talked about Angelina Jolie before, mm -hmm. but there are a whole bunch of other stars well, who did the emerald green. It was like, it was like Emerald City just yeah. kept coming yeah. off and off their runway. Uh, yeah. Catherine Zeta Jones yes. in emerald green. And Monique Lulier called me last night and she did dress Catherine. Catherine wanted to look regal and elegant and she, she just I think looks stunning. I think she looks stunning. I will say that I thought this dress was kind of a lot, you know, a lot of dress. I mean, but she honey, looks stunning, she don't get me wrong. She can pull it off. If anyone can, it's Catherine Mila Kunis. Looks great in this Vera Wang. And also, we've got Elizabeth Moss and Donna Karen. Fitted, mm -hmm. gorgeous, simple. I think what's interesting is what we didn't see on the red carpet. We didn't see a lot of old fashioned jewelry. We didn't see yeah. a lot of hairdos. That was nice. That's it true. was really classic, sexy, and modern looking. Well, I could say the same about the two of you. Thank you both. <laughs>